We're back on the morning brew with friends, and this is great. We got Bobby Cisneros in to talk morning. about solid waste. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good, man. Real good. And you guys have a bunch of stuff coming up for the holidays. Yes, sir. There's a lot of things that can be recycled that we always forget about mm -hmm. during the holidays. Uh, and quickly remind us what 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 can we recycle? What should we? What can we just toss? All right. Well, during Thanksgiving, when we're in the kitchens cooking, mm -hmm. you've got all the boxes that your food comes in. Right. Of all course, toss those in the car in the exactly. cardboard. Any of the tin cans from mm -hmm. your vegetables and the, the pumpkin pie filling, that kind of stuff, all that can be recycled. Your pan from the, your foil pan that you do your turkey in, mm -hmm. we don't want that. Throw that in the garbage. Why not? That one's got too much grease contamination from your turkey and the food, oh. so just throw that away. It's just better to get rid of that. Okay. Speaking of grease, this is yeah. a thing that I'm a chef. I love to cook at home. I'm the guy who, you know, loves to deep fry stuff. And of course, all, any plumber will tell you, never put your grease down the drain. Exactly. So what's a good recommendation that you guys have at Solid Waste for what we should do with our grease? Uh, if you can, wait till it cools, uh, pour it in a container, let it cool down completely, and then close that container, the lid, and then put that in the trash. Don't pour it directly in the trash. Do not pour it directly I, I, I in the trash. I learned that once. I, did, I made that mistake one time. And I poured the hot grease into my trash and then melted the garbage bag. Yeah, that's bad. Right, it was bad news bears. <laughs> and I had to clean it all up. And the only one who was excited about that was my dog. Who <laughs> just loved they the enjoyed the grease. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but don't put it down the drain is the big thing, yeah, right? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then I know that during the holidays, tons of wrapping paper, all of that stuff. Yeah, wrapping paper is a big no. <clears throat> it's reached the end of its life cycle, so it can't be recycled anymore. Mm. So just throw that in the garbage. Really? Um, the bags that your gifts come in, mm -hmm. we can recycle those. So okay. use those bags better. Oh, okay. That's very cool. I didn't yeah. know that about, about uh, wrap. <clears throat> yeah, the wrapping paper, the fibers are just too small to be recycled again. Oh, okay. Crazy. I had no idea. And what are some of the other holiday things we shouldn't put in the recycling bins? Well, we don't want Christmas trees. Right. Your Christmas there, and there, there are easy ways to get rid of Christmas trees. <coughs> Several people around town take yeah. them and they can mulch them. We do a Christmas tree collection mm. in January. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can take your trees to any of those locations. It's uh, Eagle Rock and Ladera Golf Course. I mean, it's free, and then we mulch it, and then the public could take the mulch for free as well. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Christmas lights, we don't want those to be put in your blue carts either. Oh. Um, we don't want... Because you uh, can't separate the plastic from the well, wires they, and the glass. Well, they kind of wrap the... themselves up in our equipment because oh. they're long. Um, but when you take your Christmas tree back, you can take those as well, and then we'll recycle those separately. We just need mm. to collect them in a different way. Oh, okay. Nor do we want your plastic ornaments. Uh, they, a lot of time they have a lot of glitter and mm -hmm. things like that on it. Or the glass ornaments, those aren't recyclable. Oh, really, the glass ornaments? I thought all yeah. glass was recyclable. Uh, not through our program, not through mm. the curb. Um, glass uh, bottles, now with all the holiday parties, take mm -hmm. those to a drop off location. Right. You can call 311 to find out where the closest one is to you. Very cool. So, where, what do you guys do with all this stuff? I know that there's tons of this stuff, literally yeah. tons. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of it. So, what we do is once we collect all the material from, uh, from your home, we take mm -hmm. it to Freedom and Recycling. Mm -hmm. They sort it and separate it, and then and they, they sell it. And they do all of that sorting by hand, don't they? Well, they do some of it by hand and okay. then we have uh, we call them screens they sort out the paper material and then we have some magnets for the uh, uh, metal material we have optical sorters uh, which is a fancy way of saying lasers to pull mm. out the plastic and then we have an eddy current for the aluminum but the rest of it it's done by hand so wow. it's a really interesting uh, process I'm sure we would love to see a video of that someday ah, I'd love to have we, you guys out we should go out there and shoot a video of, like it. how that happens let's do it I, I've always wondered like how you do that because it's hard enough for me to sort it at home, <laughs> let alone like sort like who does it like on this massive city-wide it, It's incredible. It's yeah. really incredible. Absolutely. So what's what's one of the biggest problem items you guys get during this time of year that people try to recycle or try to? Plastic bags is always a big no-no. Like uh -huh. just the stuff you get from the grocery store plastic exactly. bags, right? Those bags, uh, you get them from uh, any department store, the grocery, grocery stores. stores. Those bags, they can be recycled, just not mm -hmm. through our program. Oh. Okay. So take those bags back to your grocery stores. Every and grocery store will take them back. Uh, and they recycle them and turn them into new bags. Um, they just cause a big, big problem for the equipment, and they tangle themselves up. Uh, during this time of year, another big thing um, is just garbage. People just put garbage in there because their trash can fills up. Oh. So if you recycle enough from your trash can, you'll have plenty of room in there for the garbage. Right, right. Well, one of the things we do at my dog park is they take all the plastic bags 
and Absolutely using it at the dog idea. park, which yeah. always seems to work pretty well, too. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What are some of the things that uh, the city can make the most money on? I know, you, I know that Friedman sells this stuff. Yes. And they make money off of it, and that's their business model. Yeah. So what, what's some of the most valuable stuff that we throw away or we try to recycle? Well, is it the aluminum and the tin? Alum and the aluminum cans is probably, is probably up there. Aluminum cans, cardboard boxes, you know, mm -hmm. the paper. The paper. That, that kind of stuff. Um, we'd want it all. Uh, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, what's most important is keeping it out of that landfill and extending the life of that landfill. Right. Because um, ultimately, we don't want to have to go dig another hole. It's expensive and it's pointless. So um, give us as much as you can. You can go to abqrecycles.com for a complete list of what can and can't be recycled. And if you have any questions, call 311 and ask for Keep Albuquerque Beautiful and we can coach you through it. And those guys know what goes in the blue bin and what, what exactly. goes in the green bin and what goes in the other bin. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. So, no, I'm, I'm still amazed that there's no wrapping paper goes in the paper. Yeah. That's, prob that's probably one that you, probably this time of year, yeah, is the we bane get of that. your existence. Yeah, we get that. Everybody, well, because it's paper, so people think naturally it can be recycled. Right. But again, it's not a recyclable material. The fibers are just too short to be right. used again. Right. So, and then throw your grease away in a container, yes. not down the drain. Yep. And then uh, all the glass can be taken to any of the recycling Drop areas sites. if you have too much to, that fills up your bin. Uh, well, we don't even want the glass in the bin. Right. No glass in the bin. Just take it to a drop-off center. Just take it to a drop-off center. Well, that sounds like a plan. We're going to be back in a couple of seconds. You know, Curly is going to teach me how to do some... Uh, I want to see this. Right? Well, yeah. we, we can get you in on this. Maybe he can turn you into a stunt man also. Let's do it. Let's see. All oh, right. Well, we still, if we got the sound effects hooked up back there, we can. Oh, they don't. I can punch him anyway. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I can do the. <laughs> we'll we'll have Curly teach it. We'll be back in a couple of minutes on the Morning Brew with Friends. Well, great. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.